This video is brought to you by viewers like you. Thanks to your constructive criticism and well-appreciated points in my previous Blender on Android videos, I have been able to create what I believe is a greatly improved list on how to install Blender on Android. Thank you. Want to stay up to date on when new Lumpology videos are uploaded? Subscribe and set the bell to all, or leave it unpersonalized to periodically receive updates about the channel. All right, so to start, let's just open Google Play and we'll type in Termix and just install that. Next, we are going to search up and we're going to go to CX File Explorer. This is just a file explorer. In case you don't have one, use this one. Um, uh, in case, and then go to VNC Viewer, uh, type in VNC Viewer, install VNC Viewer, and, that, uh, and then we'll need one more piece of software. This piece of software is Andronix. Uh, if you've seen the previous video, you'll know this one, just install it. And then we're, we should be good to go for software. So open Android Nix, then uh, press the big green button. It looks like a, a sideways E Man, for Manjaro Linux. Tap install, uh, swipe up a bit. There we go. And we're going to do LXQT. So yeah, open Termix, then long press, paste, and press enter. There we go. And this will take a while. I, sh I need to stress this. This can take 20 minutes or so longer. So just plug in your device if your device has bad battery and just wait. Uh, it's pretty identifiable when it's complete. I'll show you that soon. But before that, just very quickly, if you like my videos, please subscribe because um, we, we, it helps us spread, spread our, ourselves across the internet. <laughs> also, I want to thank the people over at Andronix for this amazing software. As you can see, I'm just speeding this up a bit and this will just, once it's all done, we'll have it installed. Okay, almost there, and okay, so black screen. Now long press, tap more, kill process. Just like that, but then press enter, and it will take us here, reopen Termix, and then type ls, you'll see all the inst the files to make sure it's installed, then type dot slash start dash manjaro.sh to start the script that will launch the Andro Manjaro environment. Then type vnc server dash start, Write this one down, you'll need this. Every time you launch it, this is what it will take. So then put in a password. Four letter passwords will not work. It must be six, six password minimum. There we go. Verify it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then type N. N, we want to be able to use the operating system, so type N to deny that um, read only. So now go to VNC Viewer. Type next, next, next. Don't send them your data. Get started. And then press the plus symbol and type local host, oops, uh, localhost, colon, one, not semicolon, colon one, then just give it a name. It doesn't matter what the name is. Uh, go to picture quality, go to high, uh, make sure it's not in view only, and then type connect. Press the connect button. There we go. Then press OK. Uh, put in the password, one, two, three, four, five, six, that we made earlier in the VNC environment. Press skip, and here we are. We've got a mouse. You can just move it, move it along the screen. It's really easy to use. Tap to click. Pretty straightforward. So tap this, and you got all your apps for a man, Linux Manjaro, but we're going to go to System Tools, and we're going to go to Q-Terminal. There we go. And now in Q-Terminal, we're just going to type sudo pacman dash capital S Blender to install the latest copy of Blender onto our Manjaro shell environment. It's not really shell environment. Into our Manjaro environment. There we go. Press Enter, and then it will prompt us with this box. So just open the keyboard, go down, type Y for yes, and enter. And now Blender will take a little while to install. This makes it really easy. Uh, Manjaro is very efficient about how it is. I've done previous methods, and so far the Linux Manjaro one uh, has been absolutely the best uh, method for installing Blender on Android. It's fast, it's snappy, it doesn't require a beefy device. So this is the best variant that is available to us. Anyways, when it's done, um, which will just take a second. Anyways, you can if you if you can't tell that it's done, just type echo high, and if it posts a message high, then you can see for sure that it's complete. Anyways, now if we just quickly launch Blender, um, uh, we'll have Blender open, but we're not done yet, so don't leave. Uh, so as you can see, it's Blender 2.91, got a bunch of settings, but if I go to the file system, you'll notice that we don't have access to the Android file system which isn't good. So we're gonna have to do something about that. 
And as you can see, file browser. Uh, anyways, here's what we're going to do. Here is what we are going to do. We're going to close the this. Uh, we're going to shut down the VNC server using VNC server dash stop. This is how you stop it normally. Um, and then type exit to leave. There it is. Then we're going to long press, clap, tap more, and then kill the process again. Reopen uh, VNC server. Then type P K G for package update just to make sure that it's all up to date. Make sure it does all its things good. Then make sure we have nano installed. So type PKG install space nano. And this is where we're just going to do a quick little thing. So uh, now just type LS so we can view. We still got Manjaro there. And we're going to type nano. Um, and then we're going to type start dash manjaro.sh. So we're just going to edit the start dash manjaro.sh file. And uh, that way we can mount uh, the SD card of our device into it. So this is pretty easy, so just use the arrows provided by Termix and scroll down to where you see commands plus equals uh, dash b SD card. And um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go uh, down a step and uh, then we're going to back up down a step and we're just going to backspace and get rid of this line. Um, be careful about this, um, and then just backspace so that the last, so that there's no hash, then, oops, make a new line, and type command plus equals, type quote, and space dash b space slash sd card, and then close off the quotes, two quotes, there we go, that's done. And now we're just gonna press Control X and type Y to save the buffer and, uh, and then enter. And that concludes uh, this part. Now to restart the Manjaro version, type dot slash as we did before, start dash manjaro.sh, just as we did before, this is what we've done before. This is what we're going to need to do every single time. So VNC server dash start, write it down if you need to. That's a good strategy. And now just hop back over to uh, VNC Viewer. And in VNC Viewer, we're just gonna launch the, our, our environment, type in our password, and we're back in the desktop environment. Now we're gonna open this, Graphics Blender, and uh, Blender starts a little bit faster than before, and now we're gonna go to here, and File Browser. And as you can see, we now have access, uh, one second, uh, wait a minute, it's up here, there we go, uh, backspace, and now we have access to the SD card. And that concludes. All right, so that's how you install Blender 2.9 on Android and mount the SD card uh, into your Manjaro environment. Lumpology is a community-driven channel. You can suggest videos by commenting below a video or in the Communities tab. Alternatively, you can go to the Lumpology Discord page or the Lumpology Forum. Did this video fail to answer the question, or is the video broken? Please tell us in the comments below, and you can make your voice known by either disliking or liking the video. Thank you for your continued support.